Well, let's move on to the debate now because I said on this show a few weeks ago that I truly believed that they would do something with the microphones. And we've had experts on, on here, and everybody disagreed with me. Well, guess what? Turns out I was right. The debate commission will now be muting candidates' mics at the start of each segment. Let me just give you a little bit of background on this. And then, J.D., you could give your opinions. I will give mine. The commission on the presidential debates announcing the change to the debate rules ahead of the debate tomorrow. As I mentioned, it's going to be in Nashville. Under the new rules, President Trump and Joe Biden will each have two minutes of uninterrupted time to speak at the beginning of every 15-minute segment of the debate. Uh, the only candidate whose microphone will be open during these two-minute periods is the candidate who has the floor under the rules, the commission announced. After that, there will be time for discussion with both candidates' microphones open. The commission says both campaigns have agreed to the two-minute uninterrupted rule. That's also very important. Both campaigns agreed to it. It's an effort to allow Trump and former President Biden, Vice President Biden, uh, more equitable time to answer questions in the final presidential debate. Now, my opinion on this is I said they should have done it a few weeks ago. I think this is a good idea. Uh, people cannot interrupt each other like we do on this show every day. This is a presidential debate, not a radio show. Okay, this is important. Each, and by the way, this is what they agreed on a few weeks ago during that first debate, and Trump did not abide by it. So I like the fact that they're going to be able to turn mics off. The interruptions have to stop. Here's my only concern. If Donald Trump decides to interrupt while his mic might be turned off, you're probably still going to be able to hear it because the other mic is going to be on. They're not going to be that far away from each other. That's my only concern. I think it'll help. Donald Trump has said in the, in, in the past few days when he appeared on Fox and Friends that he was going to take a different approach. We'll see if he does. I don't know if he can control himself, but I do think this is a step in the right direction, and I hope it's uninterrupted. I hope both candidates are uninterrupted. That's my opinion. Yeah, well, first of all, Joe Biden interrupted first in that first debate. You know that, right? And Chris Wallace interrupted Joe Biden. 15 times, interrupted Donald Trump 76 times. You have to be kidding. So I just, I just, no, I'm, it's, it's reality. I just hope that each candidate is given their two minutes. Like, for example, in the, in the Mike Pence, Kamala Harris vice presidential debate, Kamala Harris was given more than two minutes three times. Pence was given less than two minutes three times. So the exact, I hope that everything is equal across the board. And if that's the case, I'm extremely confident that Donald Trump is going to have a great debate. And I don't think I don't think Trump will be the one that will interrupt. I think it will be Biden because Trump is going to constantly now bring up what the mainstream media isn't bringing up, which is Hunter Biden and the quote unquote laptop from hell. We're going to talk he's, about he's, that he's next gonna, segment. He's going to consistently no bring that up. Every, gonna... every, every single answer, mm -hmm. he's going to consistently yep. bring that up. Mm -hmm. And I think Biden is going to come unglued. And because remember, Biden mm -hmm. called Trump a clown three times and insulted him six times during that first presidential debate. Trump didn't insult Biden once. He didn't call him any So all any, of a sudden insults bother you now. He's well, been insulting people again, for four well, years, is, and now is, all of a sudden insults bother this you. Is Joe, Joe Biden called Joe Trump Biden a clown. Is, is supposed to be the, 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 the candidate, just like because you know, Kizir Khan said, decency. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and so he's not a decent person because he called Donald Trump. What a clown. I'm saying is he's supposed to be this 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 presidential candidate who has all this experience, who has well, this, he does, who, who has this great calm demeanor, but he's calling Donald Trump a clown three times. So that bothers. He's you. insulting him six times. So that bothers. And, and Donald Trump's not insulting. I got well, you. It's, it's just that Joe Biden mm -hmm. was in that first debate. He was everything Donald Trump is supposed to be. And so I think that Trump. I, I, I think Biden. I think about. Biden will. When Trump says, and he's going to consistently bring this up, and he's going to have the time to do it. He's, he, he will. And also now, now Donald Trump can talk about. All of his accomplishments yeah, during, during his presidency, as well yeah. as his platform outside mm -hmm. of it. And Joe Biden, he's been so all over the place, not, true. not, not only at the town hall, but also the first debate, not that true. he's going to have to find a way to, to kind of un, unknot those, those, those knots that he's put together with, in, in regards to policy. And so I'm, I, th I think this is great for Donald Trump. I don't think it's great for Joe Biden. Okay, so first of all, again, once again, I disagree with just about everything you said. I do find it very interesting that all of a sudden it offends you that Joe Biden called Donald Trump a clown. And Three times. It, uh, if Three I times. Okay, so if I can have another 20 seconds, thank you. Uh, so uh, it does, I find it very interesting that Trump supporters like yourself are insulted that Joe Biden is up there on a stage uh, and he insults the president and calls you're him a clown. You're assuming I'm insulted. I'm not insulted. Okay, uh, if, I could, if I could just finish, well, you're, Again, you're, you're, if I could you're assuming that finish. I'm insulted I'm just not. I need at least 30 seconds to make my point. Please, I'm asking you again, please let me finish. You are complaining that Joe Biden, up there on a stage, called Donald Trump a clown. Seems to bother you. Didn't complain at all. Um, okay, well, you brought it up. You brought it up, and you are, uh, I guess you could say, going after Joe Biden for calling or criticizing Joe Biden for calling Donald Trump a clown. 
There was a moment in the debate, in the first debate, since you wanted to bring up Hunter Biden. There was a moment in the debate where Donald Trump went after Hunter Biden's drug problem. There were moments in that first debate where Donald Trump went so low when Joe Biden was talking about Bo Biden, the late Bo Biden who died of brain cancer, well-respected guy. And what did he say? He, he said, if I, I don't please, know who Bo is. He didn't go low. If I can please finish for the third time, please, if I could please finish. So there were plenty of moments in the first debate I think most logical people would agree that the reason why the debate commission is muting candidates, it's not because of Joe Biden. It's not because of Chris Wallace. The reason why they are doing this is because of Donald Trump. Make no mistake about it. Donald Trump was the man who constantly interrupted Joe Biden and did not abide by the rules. The debate commission is not doing this because of reaction from Joe Biden or Chris Wallace. I want to make that very, very clear clear it is good for the country when both candidates do not interrupt one another donald trump is not going to be able to at least i hope interrupt joe biden and while i don't agree and i don't agree and i don't think it's a good thing for the country if anybody is calling anybody a clown on a stage i do find it uh i would find it extremely difficult when you're trying to give answers and you have two minutes and both campaigns have agreed to it when the president completely interrupts you completely doesn't let you answer the question. If I was in that situation, I would be very frustrated as well. If you watch the debate, in the middle of that, Joe Biden was commenting on things Donald Trump said on a consistent basis. Chris Wallace was allowing it to happen. Every time Trump did it to Biden, Chris Wallace called Donald Trump out, Brian. Okay, well, that's because Donald Trump was interrupting constantly throughout the entire Joe debate. Biden and, anybody, first. and anybody who he was not... interrupted okay. the first three okay. times. So we're not eight years old and here. There, and it's not, it's who not that interrupted I, more in the it's, debate? It's, it's, uh, Trump did. But okay, it's, it's, thank it's, you. It's, it's not that I'm offended, but you're making it sound like it was 90 to 5. It wasn't. It was like 103 to 82 or something like that. I don't know. I don't know where you get okay. those stats from. Uh, they're, I, they're just all over the, the top of your head. Okay. They're all the internet. Okay. Well, I mean, I may be... We'll call it plus... I'm sure they're very accurate. Plus or minus five, something along those lines. I'm sure they're very accurate because everything on the internet is very accurate. I'm not offended by Joe Biden calling Donald Trump a clown. I'm just saying Joe Biden is proving himself to be everything he's not. That's absurd. And everything that Donald Trump is supposed to be. Don, yeah, Joe Biden a-hole. proved himself to be. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah that, that is exactly. Right. So so Joe Biden's the guy I'm who saying, attacks I'm women saying, based on looks and POWs. Well, hey, look, let's, let's, right. let's talk about that. Who did he attack based on looks? Uh, well, we can start with uh, Ted Cruz's yeah, wife. And what did he say? Uh, well, he put up a picture. Uh-huh, of what? Okay. Uh, I'm trying to answer your question. You asked me something. Please give me 10 seconds mm-hmm. to answer it. He put up a picture, uh, a, a very pretty picture of his wife, Melania. Who is absolutely uh, stunningly I'm, I'm gorgeous. Tra- I'm trying to answer your question. Okay. So if you can give me more than five seconds, that would be great. Uh, he put up a picture of Melania Trump. Uh, and then he put up a picture of Ted Cruz with Ted Cruz's wife. And it was put portrayed in one of the worst uh, pictures you could find of Ted Cruz's wife. Also, Carly Fiorina. Is that his problem? Uh, I'm trying is to answer that, your question. I'm not done answering your Donald question. Donald Trump's problem okay. if there's bad, gonna, if there's uh, you gonna let me finish unsavory pictures okay. out there or pictures uh, where, where Ted Cruz's wife doesn't okay. look great? Are you and, gonna let me finish answering the question? Because you gave me ten seconds there. I appreciate it. Uh, Carly Fiorina, uh, when she was running for president of the United States, Donald Trump said, "Oh my God, that face! Look at that face." Okay, made those comments about a presidential candidate. It was only two months ago where Donald Trump made comments about Nancy Pelosi's dentures. Okay, I can give you many more examples, but it is crystal clear that Donald Trump at times attacks women based on looks. That's proof. Hold on. If there's a picture of Melania Trump next to Ted Cruz's wife, and it's not a great picture of hers, but it's on the internet. I mean, it's public. It, it, anyone can use that particular picture for whatever reason. How is? I how cannot is, believe how is, you're defending this. This is this is embarrassing. Are you kidding me right yeah, now, no, Brian? No, I'm not. This, this, you're this, embarrassing this is yourself. an absolute joke on your behalf. You're saying it's a joke on yes, my behalf. He yes, doesn't yes, attack women based you're on saying, looks. You're saying What's that, the joke? You're saying that Donald Trump cannot say my wife is more attractive than your wife, even though 99% of the country okay. agrees with it? So that, let me, that, let that's, me respond. That's, so, is that a so question? That's, let me respond. That's attacking let me respond. his wife based on let looks? Let me respond. Now, if, if, now, if, if, if he took respond. that picture and he compared it to maybe, I don't know, like a, an animal of some sort, okay, okay. fair, that, that would make sense. Okay. But, but putting me, a picture of his own wife, who again I cannot is extremely attractive. This. this is an embarrassment. All right, Along so, with Ted Cruz's Carly wife. Carly Fiorina, oh my God, that face, look at that face. Would you like to defend that statement as well? No, I can't. You can't. Okay. Okay, so yeah, he does attack women based on looks. Well, he, he what def- about going after Nancy no, he, Pelosi's he, he dentures? Def- he Would you like to defend how, that? How, Nancy Pelosi has attacked him how many times? Didn't ask you that. For, for his weight. She, call, she called that. him obese, but Didn't, that's okay. That's uh, he totally is obese. Fine. He is obese. He's 30.8, but he that, that, that is barely above okay, obese. Uh, there's no He's such thing as barely obese. obese. Yeah. There's no such thing as barely obese. Well, why is there more Okay, I was just going to answer your question. There's two clinical words. There's obese 
and there's morbidly right, obese. Right. There's nothing and as is, barely obese. Well, he is barely obese. Okay, th- not because a medical the, term. Because it's 30, not a medical it's a 30 term. BMI. Okay. He's a 30.8 so okay, okay. BMI. So what I'm, morbidly what obese JD, is a 40. So point JD, zero BMI, okay, which Chris so, Christie is, so I made who, by the point, way, got over the coronavirus. Okay, we're not talking about Chris Christie. I made my point. It's very simple. Uh, he attacks women based on looks. He has a history you, of that. You can use the example um, of Fiorina, but you can't um, use the example uh, of Ted Cruz's uh, wife I can just use, because Melania is more attractive. Why don't you? That's Pointing that out is not attacking her based on this looks, is idiotic. Bro. First it of just all, isn't. all you have to do is read the caption that Donald Trump wrote in that tweet. And what did he say? You are you, it, just go read it yourself. It's not my fault that you don't have no idea what you're talking about. I don't read exactly it yourself. What I'm talking about, okay, Brian. no, you don't. The fact that you're defending it, you know exactly what Donald Trump was doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm not he defend, was attacking I'm, her. I'm not based defending. On looks. I'm not defending what he said about look at that face. Obviously, that is that is certainly attacking a woman mm. based on looks. But the part with Ted Cruz, that is not. <laughs> Okay, okay, J.D., go ahead and look at the tweet yourself. I'm not going to do the research for you. It's absurd. I know what I'm talking about.